Hello and welcome to part 10 of the Skyrim Special Edition Ultimate Graphics Tutorial, the 2018 edition. In this part we're going to install weapons and armors. Mostly these are overhauls for existing weapons and armors in the game, but also some really cool mods which adds a lot of unique but definitely lore friendly weapons and armors in the game. Like an example, immersive armors and immersive weapons. So let's see if I have my mod list open here. Yes, I have, so that's good. And then I can start, we can start with opening up mods. Start with opening Rustic Clothing and rusting Rustic Forsworn. Let's see how many files there are here. Here you can pick, um, yeah, a, 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 um, a resolution size. For armors and all, I would go for 2K for IRU because um, mostly you are in first person view. It depends on your playstyle, of course, but yeah, for exploring Skyrim, it's mainly a first person game. Uh, so for that 2k is just fine because else if you are like in outdoor areas You also have to load the armor textures and all and that's the reason why I suggest you pick 2k for the for all the armor mods as well Then we have the rustic forsworn So also here pick 2k or 4k 2k if you want that that's fine as well All right, uh, let's continue with opening up a couple of other mods open up everything till immersive weapons so immersive armors really cool mod uh, i think one of the top mods actually of the old rim and maybe also of uh, skyrim special edition it's a, just a single file so that's relatively easy cloaks and capes if you want it i don't think i'm using it uh, but you can if you want to use cloaks and capes but i'm not really a cloaks or capes guy so for that i i uh, i i'm not gonna pick it i also don't li like cloaks of skyrim and all but of course Pick what you like, it's your game. And then from the immersive armors, also immersive weapons. Yes, we do have additional weapons in the game with this pretty large mod as well. Immersive armors is also pretty large. As you can see, 430 megabytes. But download all those mods uh, till immersive weapons. And then let's continue adding this in mod organizer. So part 10, weapons and armor. The first mod that we did download was rustic clothing. Yeah, as you can see here, I don't have the capes, so that's what I thought. Okay, set the data directory correct. And let's wait for it. Okay, once it finished, of course, activate Rustic Clothing. Then the next is the Rustic Forsworn. Click manual. Um, yeah, again, I always have 4K version because I'm a screen archer and a uh, video recorder for in-game. But you have, probably have 2K here. And anyway, set data directory, then press OK. And this one goes a lot faster, actually, than the rustic clothing. Probably rustic clothing is pretty large. Let's see, can we see that here? Yeah, it's a pretty large mod. Even the 4K version is uh, two gigabytes almost. All right, and then immersive armors. Um, let's go back to my organizer. That's where we were. Mod immersive armors. Let's see, did I skip a mod? Yeah, the cloaks and capes I skipped, of course. So then. We have immersive armors and immersive weapons. Let's wait for it until it finishes initializing. Then you should have this options form. Um, install UMP supports. I don't can do that because later on I'm gonna pick for CBBE. That's also a body mod. Um, if you have really no idea what this is, then it's all right. Make sure don't check this box. If you are an experienced modder and you prefer UMP body over CBBE, make sure not to uh, forget this checkbox. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here since I'm gonna use CBBE body mods, and then let's wait. All right, then make sure you activate immersive armors, and then also the from the same category immersive weapons. Click manual, it doesn't come with an options form, okay. Uh, let's see if we need everything here. Yeah, sure. Set this as your data directory, press OK and... Well, it's not as super long as immersive armors, but anyway, let's wait for it. And then also, of course, activate immersive weapons. All right, let's close all of the mods that we did so far. Then open up Unique Uniques, Skyforge Weaponry, Draugr Weaponry, Real Bows and Real Bows Color Match Textures. So Unique Uniques comes with a um, yeah, with a main file and an option file if you want this. So the Angie's Bow is, I think, a, a specific weapon and you can have a scope to it if you want. But anyway, make sure to have at least the main version here. And then 
the next mod, Skyforge Weapons. Looks really good uh, if you check the screenshots, as you can see. There's only one main file, so download that one, Skyforge Weapons. Then Drugger Weaponry. Let's see. We have the... Um, this is your main file. Let me check what I have from this uh, mod. Drugger Weapon. Uh, Dragon Weaponry. Yeah, I have Replacer and Standalone. And let me check why I do have both files. Replacer only replaces and doesn't add anything else. This version, which doesn't need... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the standalone has a lot of more to make use as well. Okay, that's the reason why I have downloaded both. So this is the um, one we're using and we add this on top of it. So, well, <coughs> sorry, download these two files. And then for real bows, download the main file. And if you want a alternate textures, and I think you can compare it here, then you can, of course, also download the um, alternative textures. But for now, make sure to at least have the real bows main file. And then the color match retextures. Um, yeah, I think I think that's probably the reason we only want the main file because this mod is going to replace some of the uh, most of the real bows textures anyway. So download this um, this mod as well, and then let's install everything until uh, that last mod. So in this case, that's going to be first unique uniques, which is a really nice mod by the way. Add some really cool uh, new weapons. Cool, and then Skyforge weapons. Click manual. Okay, this mod has been packed correctly. Great. Compliments to the author. Number seven is the yeah. You have the replacer in the standalone, and I think what we want is the. Uh, for some reason, I have the replacer here, and as first, and then I have the standalone. Yeah, let's just do that. It's fine like that. I think. Let's see. Why do I have two data folders here? Not really sure. Weaponry replacer. Um, good one. There are two data folders here. I have no idea why, but maybe it's been packed twice. But anyway, we can only select one data folder. So yeah, good choice. Um, a good question. I mean, let's set just this as a data directory then. It only has meshes. Okay, what happens if we set this as a data directory? It only has meshes as well. Well, in that case. Set this as your data directory then. I have no idea why the mod has been packed twice, but maybe some of you guys can um, tell me that in the YouTube comments. And then the standalone, which I think mainly just um, replaces meshes and textures. No, it does not. Okay. It also comes with an ESP, so probably the meshes and all, and uh, perhaps some other stuff has been changed here. So that's fine. Um, I never experienced any problems with it. Drug or, weapon, or, drug or weapons looks good, but if anyone knows a little bit how this works from the, uh, how or how the installation order should have been, or if it's correct like this, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, again, I uh, I never experienced any problems with it installing like this. All right, then we have still real bows and the color match texture. So real bows is this main mod first. Click manual, and then press OK. All right, and then number 10 is going to be color match textures. Click manual, set the data directory, and then press OK. Good. So let's see. We can now close all of the mods again and continue with installing the next couple of ones, which is Dragon Bone Armor and Weapons HD. That's uh, Diedrich Armor and Weapons Improvements, Ebony Reforged. Ancient Farmer, Falmer Armor, and Atlantis Chitin Armor. Yeah, let, let's keep, let's leave it like this. Let's keep it uh, like this. Dragonbone stuff. Um, you have Dragonbone Armors and Weapons 2K and 4K. Yeah. Again, in your case, I would pick just 2K. That's fine enough. Then Diedrich Armor. I think this is pretty much the same. Yeah, you do have uh, versions here. Let's see. Blood Glow. Replacer with Blood Glow textures. What I suggest you do, um, what I suggest you do is at least pick the full pack, and then let's see. I think the blood, uh, the full pack includes all of this stuff. So yeah, in that case, uh, I, I would go for the for the uh, full pack. And there's something for heavy here as well. The main file is required, so yeah, you can addition choose this as additional files. But I would um, mainly just pick the, the standalone, which should include all of it. 
Alright, then we have the Ebony Reforged, which is, yeah, you have a couple of options here. So you, want, want, you might want to check the screenshots on the ones you like, because this is the Phoenix, Phoenix Armory. We, this is still, yeah, so just make sure to check the screenshots and pick the version you like. Okay, um, so then we have Ancient Falmer Armor, HD retexture and all. Also a lot of um, a lot of optional files here, or miscellaneous files, but anyway, uh, pick the ancient or not so ancient, depending on your choice from the screenshots. And let's see, there are a lot of optional files. Do we need anything with miscellaneous files? I probably didn't have anything from, uh, from this miscellaneous stuff. It's all right. And then also the Atlantis Chitin armor. I think this is mainly from uh, Dragonborn expansion. Now click files and there's only one main file, which is great because we don't need to pick a lot of things. Okay, Dragonbone weapons, 4K, click manual, um, set this is your data directory and press OK. And then let's wait for it, yes. Number 12 is gonna be Diedrich standalone then, yeah, that's what I've picked. Um, let's see, mm, okay, well, I'm not really sure what it's, what it's installing here. But, uh, I mean, if it has like the glow or no glow, but anyway, this is the full version, so maybe it just adds all of the versions. All right, then number 13 is, I've picked the Phoenix one from um, Ebony Armor, I think it was. Yeah, Ebony Reforged. Click manual, it's been packed correct, great. And then the last one that we did download so far, no, that's not true, we also have Atlantis Shit and Armor, the not so ancient, uh, Former, I've picked, apparently. And the last one that we did download so far is the Atlantis Chitin Armor. So click manual, press OK. All right, so yeah, these mods are relatively simple to install, so that's, that's nice. Close everything up again, and then let's open up the next ones. GS Armored Circlets, Beautiful Circlet Stones, through, through HD Nightingale, Dawn of the Dungard armor and the Thief's Guild armor, HD, and also while we're here, the Dark Brotherhoods. Then we have the entire set complete here, Dungard, Thief's Guild, and Dark Brotherhood. But first, JS Armored Circlets. This is just a resolution. I would not pick 4K with this because, yeah, they're very small circlets and you really have to be very close to see the difference between 2K and 4K and perhaps even between 1K. So. Uh, probably, you won't probably see anything from the 4K textures here. So make sure to pick 2K or even maybe 1K. Then we have the beautiful circlet stones, which you have to pick something here. Um, this is all optional, I think. I think Argonite, Celestial, and Lithian. I think there are the versions. Let me check what I have. I think it depends which color you get here. Um, so I have Argonite apparently, okay. Oh, I do have 4K, I picked 4K textures for the circlets, which is really a waste, but anyway, that's fine. Um, so I've picked Argonite, 1K here, probably 1K, so then you're fine. But you can check the screenshots to see what you want. All right, then through HD Nightingale, this looks really awesome. And in these vanilla screenshots, uh, you don't, yeah, you see the difference, but especially with high quality EMBs and all that stuff, it looks really amazing, this uh, retexture. So. Through the HD Nightingale, download the main file. And Dawn of the Dungard, also fantastic looking retexture of the Dungard armor. Really amazing. Download the 2K or 4K version. And again, in your case, I would pick 2K. The Thieves Guild also looks really good, the retexture here, as you can see here in the, in the screenshots. Click files and download either 2K or 4K. So pretty much the storage applies to all of the uh, retexturing. Dark Brotherhood. Also really well retextured, especially, this is especially good for the higher um, resolution monitors like 2K and 4K. So uh, yeah, also here pick 2K, 4K. And then we have, um, yeah, everything up till the Dark Brotherhood armor. So we can continue now with the um, circlets, the free, yeah, the first armored circlets. And I've pretty much wasted my resources by picking 4K, but that's all right. You probably have 2K now. Number 17 is gonna be the Argonite from also the circlet stuff, set data directory. 
activate them out. All right, and then number 18, that's the Nightingale stuff. The Nightingale retexture are really amazing. And by the way, if you wanted armor and you are not at the Nightingale quest, but you just want to check out armors and all, what you can do is in game, um, you, you can type, you can open up the console, you can type in help space Nightingale, and then you will see a lot of uh, assets, so a lot of armor stuff or things which are related to Nightingale, but you will see also armo and then Nightingale boots, Nightingale armor, etc. etc. And what you then can do is uh, type in player uh, dot at item space the code for that item and then space one if you want to have one uh, just have a single one or two if you want to have double that armor which is yeah I'm not sure why you would pick it but for weapons that can be handy uh, but it, yeah so you can just add uh, these armor items to your inventory without doing the quests but I will make sure to um, yeah to explain this at the end of the tutorial so you can check out specific weapons and armor sets so don't worry about this this will be covered later on anyway number 19 is the HD Dungard armor so click manual then press OK all right and then activate Dungard number 20 is going to be TGA um, what was TJ? Help me out, guys. That was Thieves Guild armor. Yeah, of course. Thieves Guild armor. Okay, and then we have probably Dark Brotherhood as the last one for now. Dark Brotherhood armor. Yes, retexture. Click manual. Select your case. Probably 2K. I have 4K. Set that as your data directory and then press OK. All right, we're going here pretty fast, which is good. So let's remember the Dark Brotherhood was our last picked one. So yeah, we have a couple of more to install. Uh, TDN, Vampire Armor Retexture. We have the Temple Priest Robes HD Retexture. A Medium Born Imperial Light and Stubbed. The Ennet Shields and the Nightingale Pride Bow and Blade Reincarnation. And what well, we here also pick Ariel's Bow and Ariel's Shield because they're pretty small but very good looking mods as well. So the TDN Vampire Armor Retexture, this is... Uh, yeah, the armor you maybe know from Serana. She carries it by default, as far as I can remember. Serana from Downguard Expansion Pack. Download the main file. Let's see, do we need anything from here? No, so... So, yeah, just pick the main file. Um, Temple Priest Robes. Click Files, download the main file. A Medium Born, Imperial Light and Stud. Uh, yeah, you can pick a resolution here. Probably 2K would suit the best for you. Then Anat Shields. This looks, by the way, really cool. The uh, shields are very well visible when they're carried by guards and all, so that's a really cool mod. And you might want to consider picking 4K versions, but 2K is fine as well. Don't worry, it's fine as well. Looks really good, high resolution as well. Okay, um, so the, the Nightingale Pride, the Nightingale Bow and Blade, they look really cool, retextured. Definitely goes well with the Nightingale uh, armor. Set so pick ultra um, or medium, medium for 2k. It depends if you're really gonna play in a nightingale armor and weapon style, then you might pick both 4k, but 2k again is fine as well. So pick pick a version then. Ariel's bow, they, it looks amazingly good in um, with EMB and then slides and effects because I've used this a lot for screenshots and all. The Ariel's bow is really cool. And the shield is also looking good, but not as good as the bow. But anyway, download the, um, yeah, one of the three versions here. Just check out the screenshots to see which one you prefer. Let's see, also here, I forgot to tell you that you should pick, yeah, also one of the three versions. But I think I have just a regular one here. This, that looks really cool. So let's add those mods as well in our mod organizer. So go to 22, that's Nightingale. Vampire armor first, the one that Serana carries by default. You have some, uh, sometimes mods come with screenshots as well and you can just open them in Mod Organizer by going to File 3, Open Mod and Explorer and then you can check out the screenshots here. All right. Nice. Then number 23 is gonna be Temple Priest Reclaim Reclamation Robes, click Manual. Set the data directory and then press OK. And these are all the simple retextures. So in that case, nothing really comes with an ESP except for yeah, the weapon stuff, which, which adds specific weapons and armors. But 
all the other stuff is just simple uh, texture over override stuff. So nothing really fancy, nothing really difficult. Then we have the medium born stuff. Click manual, press OK. All right, also straightforward. And then let's see, what do we have uh, more? Uh, we have a lot more actually. <laughs> OK, no problem. Uh, and a shield, click manual, press OK. Comes with an ESP. Not really sure why, but because apparently it's not just a simple retexture then, it also comes with um, yeah, with other stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, uh, we have the Nightingale uh, blade and bow here. That's activated, yes. And then number 27, yeah, Ariel's bow and Ariel's shield. So first add the bow, press OK, and then at the shields, which is number 28. All right, set this, and that was, I think, everything so far that we did download. Yeah, Aerial Shield was the last one. So we can now open up the last couple of mods from this section, which is Eldrune Dawnbreaker, Staff of Magnus HD, Spellbreaker Remesh, Install Meshes and Textures. We have as a remark here, okay. Another Clavius Mask, Zephyr Retextured, and the Black Bow of Fate Retexture. 2k ring of Namura retextured and then also 2k retextured ring of Hyrusin, I think it's like that. Okay. Ah, this is, looks nice, this blade. Maybe not that lore friendly, but it looks good. It looks really nice. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should check that blade out actually. I, I should spawn it in game and see how it looks. Anyway, download the main file. All right, then. The Staff of Magnus looks really cool retextured here. Awesome. So make sure you download that one as well. Spellbreaker Remesh. That's for the shield. Download the uh, Remesh and Retexture. So both. That's what we have here. As, yeah. Uh, as the uh, note here. Then LH. Another Clevius Mask. Download. Yeah. Either 2K, 4K. I would pick 2K in your case. Zephyr Retextured. This is for the bow, I think. Um, download the main file. You have the black bow of fate retexture here. Download the main file here as well. The 2K ring of Namria retextured. It's, um, yeah, pick 2K or 1K. I think 1K is fine for a simple ring as well. Not really sure if, yeah, but it's not really an important mod. So uh, pick one of the two. And then also for this ring, download, um, let's see, there's only one file. Yeah, download the main file. And let's see, that was everything. Yeah, that was everything so far, far from this part. So let's add a couple of last mods here. So number 29, the Dawnbreaker, which looks really cool. Press OK. Activate the mods. Number 30, Staff of Magnus. Set date to directory. Press OK. Um, number 31 is the Spellbreaker Remesh. Click manual, set to data directory, press OK. Number 32, another Clavius mask, OK. Uh, set this to your data directory, press OK. The number 33 is going to be the Zephyr retexture. Click manual, press OK as well. Ah, OK, I think this is just a new bow then because it comes with an ESP, but that's fine. And then we have the bow of faith here. This has been packed correctly. Great. And the last couple of mods are just with simple rings. Click manual, press OK. And the last one also press manual, press OK. And then we can activate them both. OK, and I think that was everything for this part. Yeah. And now we have to make sure, of course, to um, add the random alternate start at the bottom. Where is it? Random alternate starts. Alternate, here it is. Alternate start. Okay. Make sure that your Skyrim Special Edition runs fine without any crashes. I would seriously doubt it, but yeah, there are still ESPs and ESPs can always mess something up. So check it out. If not, you know how to reverse engineer. That's by unchecking all of the mods one at a time, checking if your game runs or not, doesn't run. So you can pinpoint which mod is causing it and then make sure you're ready for the next part because at the next part we are going to install the NPCs and personal appearance which is a very critical mod and uh, also yeah can cause 
yeah i wouldn't say can cause instability but they they are um they are pretty yeah they come with a lot of e-speeds let's let's uh, say it like that so make sure your skyrim runs fine and then i'll see you guys at the next parts take care and bye bye